So if you're lucky enough to live in New York, anyone can now play with the new quantum computer that IBM owns. So why is this so special? Because if you want to own a real quantum computer, you need to cough up about $10 million because that's what they cost right about now. So right now only very large companies can own them and um, like only very, very wealthy people could maybe own them. So let's just hope that there's enough wealthy people in the world and enough large enough, rich enough companies in the world to buy these things up because as you may or may not know, the more of these computers are bought, the lower the prices will eventually come down, just like everything else did. Once upon a time, only like wealthy people could own, I don't know, televisions or computers or cell phones, and you know, the prices do come down eventually. So anyway, my question to you is, if you could play with a quantum computer, do you know what you would do on it? Because I know what I would do, and that would be to make music. Yep, quantum computers can and do make musical notes and tones. Um, it's already been done. Um, it's on one of my videos. There's a link to it. And um, I don't know like how much programming would be involved, or does it just do what it wants on its own? I would hope that I could let it know um, the type of music I want because I can hear musical notes and music in my head so I would like it to do how what I hear how I hear things so I don't know like how possible that would be um, you know maybe if I could somehow put electrodes electrodes to my head and wires to the computer and it could I don't know maybe like hear what I'm thinking as far as music goes so I don't know that's just one idea uh, anyway but it would still be very interesting to make music with it and that's what I would love to do um, I wish I could play an instrument I I think about it but it's just very time-consuming and I still couldn't get all the different layers and sounds and everything I want without a computer anyway. So that's my first question is what would you do on the computer? Have you ever played with a quantum computer? Do you know anyone that's ever played on a quantum computer? And my last question is, do you think this could have anything to do with Obama um, giving over internet to, I don't know, I think he's given it over to like the UN or something. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of this because they're thinking the, that our computer access would be start being dictated to us. We would no longer have free internet the way we do now, that we would be controlled and limited. And I'm thinking, well, maybe that's because there would be just so much power with a quantum computer, much more power than and information that we have now that maybe that's their way to like to try to control that I don't know I don't know enough about quantum computers um, yeah that's just a thought of mine so what do you think take care